नमस्कार वेलकम टू द वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन ऑफ इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट टुडे द 11th जुलाई 2024 आई एम डॉक्टर आनंद कुमार दास ए साइंटिस्ट फ्रॉम नेशनल वेदर फोरकास्टिंग सेंटर सो टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द वेदर व्हाट हैपेंड लास्ट वीक एंड एज वेल एज आई विल बी गिविंग द डिटेल्स अबाउट द फोरथकमिंग वेदर इन कमिंग टू वीक्स सो Last week, what are the weather systems which caused the weather? Basically, it is a monsoon season and lot of rains all over the country. And what causes those rains? We'll see that. So, the first, the foremost is the monsoon trough, which was there uh, from uh, along this uh, region uh, from seventh uh, to ninth, uh, but then. Uh, uh, other days it was not very clearly defined and but then there were troughs, east west trough uh, from certain part of Uttar Pradesh to uh, northeastern states it was there from 6 to 10 so like that and there were also uh, it shear zone of monsoon so that was uh, there along uh, this region and tilting southward uh, from most of the days of, of the week it was seen and then Offshore trough was there from uh, South Gujarat to North uh, Kerala uh, most of the days. So these are the main uh, weather features and along with that embedded cyclonic circulation here we can see those cyclonic circulations are there. The, the main cyclonic circulation what was there over Bay of Bengal it actually gradually moved from east central to west central then northwest to uh, north andhra pradesh and adjoining area so that actually uh, caused lot of weather and then there was also western disturbance uh, there on 7th and associated uh, uh, cyclonic circulation was there over uh, northwest india uh, we can see here so these are uh, the weather system now we will be uh, watching what was the uh, uh, flow pattern uh, in the model analysis here we can see this is the monsoon flow and this is the trough location here and uh, during uh, initial uh, days there was uh, a cyclonic circulation which moved that is there at that time that monsoon was very much strong from, from then latter part you can see that 7th 8th then gradually it is weakening and 4th 5th 6th it was strong 7th then gradually it weekend so uh, later part of the week it little bit weekend but uh, it was there strong or not south westerly flow of the monsoon was there and then this trapping was also visible and if we see the uh, mon uh, satellite uh, imagery animation here lot of clouding over uh, western uh, along the west coast we can see and then initial days there was clouding here northwest india and uh, certain uh, adjoining part of uh, uh, central india and then uh, our foothills regions uh, uttarakhand and uttar uh, that portion we can see that clouds were there and some con uh, convective clouds also we have seen around this region northeastern region sub east bengal and sikkim and uh, adjoining Bihar region so th these are and uh, let later part of the uh, week we can see that this uh, clouding was over the Gujarat region so that caused uh, rainfall and this is the rainfall scenario here day by day uh, the rainfall uh, distribution is seen here so fourth fifth sixth seventh then eighth and then 9th, 10th, it is, it is better reduced. And here, this is the distribution of uh, very heavy rainfall uh, uh, and different days all over the country. And here, we can see that uh, very heavy and above uh, rainfalls are uh, seen here along the coast. And this Gujarat region also you can see. And then uh, the uh, that Himalayan region, Northwest India region also have some days, uh, the, this heavy rainfall and then very heavy rainfall also seen over northeast india sikkim uh, sabil and west bengal and north Bihar region and uh, one or two days we can see here over odisha and here we can see also uh, andhra pradesh and uh, then some one day on over vidarbha 
so uh, th this these are the heavy rain very heavy rainfall and above uh, distribution and if we see the overall rainfall distribution then uh, this this is the whole seven days what was the rainfall scenario over the country and here uh, we, we can see that this is the one mm, mm, prominent zone and uh, then another is here then another is uh, over that region and so uh, due to this actually mumbai goa got their uh, first spell of extremely heavy rainfall and uh, the flash flood happened over M mumbai and that was the and it was disrupted whole uh, normal lives of the people and uh, that happened 7th and 9th july uh, then uh, i there also in this part also we can see that there are a lot of uh, heavy uh, very heavy or more rainfall so and then uttar pradesh also uh, got uh, isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall and uh, with uh, extremely heavy rainfall uh, 4th to 7th july and then coastal and south interior karnataka that is what i was telling that 4th 6th and 8th july Kongan Goa and Madhya Maharashtra region on 7th and 9th July, Gujarat region. Uh, here also uh, we uh, got some uh, rainfall 5th to 7th July. Then Assam, Meghalaya uh, region uh, 10th July, Sabiman and West Bengal and uh, uh, adjoining uh, that region, uh, Bihar there uh, 6th and 9th July. Then Uttarakhand also uh, received uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall and isolated extremely heavy 6th and 8th July. Himachal Pradesh, uh, this part also some red spot we can see uh, that, that 5th to 6th July. And West Uttar Pradesh, so here this region, West Uttar Pradesh uh, and adjoining plains uh, 5th to 8th July. So these are the uh, overall and we can see that all dots are covered nearly whole country. So rainfall was happening all over the country. And this is uh, due to that yeah, what was the rainfall scenario uh, during this week. So here we can see that actual rainfall uh, for this week is 66.3 uh, uh, but uh, centimeter but here normal uh, what is uh, normal is 59.3 so uh, during this week it is above normal uh, uh, departure is 12 uh, percent so 12 percent above normal received and they, they, that is why we can see greens and blues are covering uh, countries and only few one uh, this this uh, uh, Gujarat region and this part uh, Eastern East India and Peninsula Kerala and Tamil Nadu and the, uh, some northeast region are not uh, except those region other parts are green or blue and if we see the seasonal thing now today actually it is the zero percent so that means till up till today it the country got normal rainfall so uh, that, that is the scenario but still we have some of the, uh, the subdivisions are red uh, we can see that and in the ne next slide we'll be watching the total uh, uh, statistics here so large access eight access this this week excess is five normal 13 and deficient 10 so this week it has the statistics and uh, no rain and large deficient are zero so this week actually we got Northwest India received at least plus 66 percent of rain and other uh, I, but uh, South Peninsula minus one and East and Northeast uh, that there, there was some red we have seen that so minus seven percent but country as a whole this week plus 12 percent so due to that what happened to the uh, season so if we see that uh, three subdivision is uh, large excess five subdivision is the excess and 18 is the normal and 10 is deficient so th this is the scenario and for that today it is and uh, we, we can see that except uh, two uh, uh, two homogeneous region uh, other uh, two are plus five plus ten another is a minus four that is uh, north east and northeast minus four and uh, central india minus five otherwise uh, so but country as a whole it is zero percent so now uh, today what is the synoptic situation so this is the monsoon trough 
टुडे सिचुएटिंग लाइक दिस बिकानी जयपुर बलिया देन आसानसोल एंड बगैटी सो एंड देन एक्सटेंडिंग टुवर्ड्स नॉर्थ ईस्ट बे ऑफ बंगाल सो दिस इज द मनसून ट्रफ एंड देन दीज आर अदर सिनोप्टिक फीचर्स लाइक दिस इज द ऑफसो ट्रफ स्टील देयर फ्रॉम साउथ गुजरात टू नॉर्थ केरला एंड देन दिस इज द सी आर जोन and the four different cyclonic circulation we can see one is that uh, over northeast that northeast assam and nevarud and this is interior and then one that interior odisha there and then another over uh, that north maharashtra another north madhya maharashtra region and then another over punjab and nevarud so these are the uh, weather uh, features uh, of today and if we uh, just see the Uh, forecast for prediction for next 5 days this is the warning scenario and uh, mainly due to the heavy rain or very heavy rain uh, uh, that that is the causing the uh, warning so here we can see for today it was the uh, sourastra kach uh, region and then uh, kankan goa region is having some kind of uh, warning then yolo warns are there there may be some isolated heavy rainfall then rain uh, red warning also we can see there in uh, east uttar pradesh and bihar and subhuman and west bengal then uh, arunachal and uh, so these are orange warning sorry and then uh, we, uh, Arunachal Pradesh and Assam uh, having and Meghalaya having uh, red warning. So this is the today. Then next day it is uh, orange warnings are there still uh, over uh, uh, East Uttar Pradesh and Bihar and uh, Sabhavan and West Bengal. Then Arunachal Pradesh became orange, but uh, Assam Bengal is still red. And this here we can see that orange warning is in increased to uh, inside that uh, Madhya Maharashtra region. and but uh, that sourastra kach now become yellow so that way we can see that uh, along the west coast uh, these warnings are there uh, for all days we can see and uh, so is west coast and uh, adjoining areas we can see that uh, warnings and then for first two days we can see that uh, himalayan region we can see some warning then uh, it is uh, not there for the rest of the days now we will be discussing about the extended range forecast for next two weeks so uh, here this is the first week we can see this is the green shaded region over west, west coast region and then central india and some parts of uh, northwest india and up bihar and uh, then uh, west bengal and uh, northeastern state here we can see this is the actual uh, rainfall and if we see the anomaly then here this is the positive anomaly region we can see uh, over western coast and central india and some parts of uh, adjoining area and there you can see the northwest india and uh, himalayan region here negative anomaly and here all the, although it is negative negative anomaly but not so much an, uh, negative so uh, the, uh, it will be uh, less uh, little less of uh, than normal but it not so less but if we see the second week uh, this uh, second week this is the uh, rainfall situation uh, here we can see the rainfall is still uh, green setting is still over their region and here uh, western coast is getting good rainfall and is uh, the northeastern states is also uh, getting good amount of rainfall so uh, accordingly here we can see that uh, northwest india and uh, eastern coast here uh, west uh, west coast here and uh, central india is having positive anomaly and eastern india is now getting little uh, negative anomaly over here and western himalayan region also negative anomaly so based on that now we we can that that west and south peninsula india uh, is for the first week isolated heavy and very heavy rainfall will be there along west coast konkan goa ghat area madhya maharashtra region and karnataka kerala and south interior karnataka region so most of the days and then isolated heavy uh, uh, rainfall also will be there over gujarat region 11 to 15th then saurashtra kach 11 uh, these two days only telangana and north interior karnataka most of the days and then coastal andhra pradesh and nam only second half of the week then east and northeast we have seen that this week it will be good rainfall so isolated extreme heavy rainfall Uh, possible over Arunachal Pradesh, and we have seen that red warning for 11th and uh, Assam, Meghalaya. Uh, both the days we have seen that 11, 12 that warning, and then Sabhimal and West Bengal and Sikkim, Bihar also uh, having uh, warning 11, 12. 
Arunachal Pradesh uh, the, uh, that second day after 12th July also isolated heavy rainfall. Then uh, isolated heavy rainfall, uh, South Himalayan, West Bengal, Sikkim, Bihar, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam and uh, Meghalaya all the days. Odisha 13th to 15th and then Andaman, Nicobar Island 13th and 14th, Nagaland and Manipur 11th, 14th and 15th July. And if we consider the northwest and central India, then isolated heavy rainfall uh, will be there in Uttar Pradesh. 11, 12, these two days, and Uttarakhand uh, 12, and then isolated heavy rainfall will be uh, there. Uh, Uttarakhand, East Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, East Uttar Pradesh, Bidarba, most of the days. So, uh, isolated heavy rainfall will be there um, uh, over northwest and central uh, India most of the days. Then, West Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, 11, 12, two days. And then Himachal Pradesh 11, 13, and Jammu and Kashmir on two days, and North Haryana also one on day, 12th. If we consider the second week, then widespread rainfall will uh, heavy to very heavy falls will be there over west coast, and then central and adjoining northeast India will be there most of the week. And then overall, if we see the rainfall uh, scenario over the country, then above normal uh, over most parts of the central India. And then normal to above normal over plains of northwest India and uh, south peninsular India except that Tamil Nadu part. Then near normal over northeastern states, below normal over east India and western Himalayan region. And then uh, if we see the temperature scenario for this two weeks, then uh, this is the anomaly of uh, maximum temperature Tmax for week 1 and week 2. This is the uh, minimum temperature anomaly for week 1 and week 2. Uh, so here we can see these, these the red spots are the area where it is the positive anomaly and these are the uh, negative anomaly region. So week 2 also same, same region is having uh, positive anomaly and again this negative anomaly is situating over this region. And the second week if minimum temperature uh, nearly similar region we can see that this part uh, is matching with the maximum and this uh, negative and uh, also matching but uh, minimum temperature the p p positive anomaly is uh, covering m m maximum parts of the country so therefore maximum temperature actually above normal northwest india east india and Karnataka region minimum temperature above normal in most parts of the country except east coast states and kerala and telangana that is for the week one and if we see the week 2, then above normal over northwest India, east India, we have seen that northeast India and Karnataka, so the red region and then minimum temperature also above normal the red region, most parts of the country except east coast state and Kerala and uh, Telangana. So now we have seen that uh, the most uh, the warning and uh, extreme weather is actually heavy very heavy rainfall so due to that there will be impact over uh, our uh, normal life so there will be localized flooding over roads water logging low lying area and then closure of some underpasses in the urban areas and then uh, some uh, flooding uh, plus flooding will be there in the urban area as well then occasional reduction of visibility due to heavy rain so uh, over uh, uh, roads there may be uh, less visibility when rainfall will be there disruption of traffic may, may happen due to that and then also due to water logging uh, traffic uh, jam will be there minor damage to kacha roads possibility of damage of vulnerable structure will be there then uh, the, uh, due to heavy rain uh, and it is happening uh, consecutively several days so there may be some occasional landslides and mudslides in the hilly areas damage to the horticulture and standing crops in some areas may happen and uh, then uh, for the uh, because it is raining heavily everywhere so the rivers are now full and some sometime it may uh, cause danger and river in flood so for that uh, uh, viewers can visit the CWC uh, the Central Water Commission site and get the information and for for more uh, weather information uh, uh, the users can visit our websites and uh, all social media uh, handle they can utilize and they can get more information and uh, mobile apps are there the, through that they can get direct information of the weather on their mobile thank you